Soren to tower, we have an issue. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody. Kyle and Casey have come in ill-prepared at Epcot. Casey, what's going on? Well, you see, it was a little bit roasty-toasty today, but tonight it is not. It is quite the opposite. It is a little bit chilly, and it's a little bit rainy out. And what do we not have? An umbrella. And what do I not have right now? A sweatshirt. Yes, I'm wearing a button-down, but oh, we might need to buy a sweatshirt tonight. Darn. Is this spring break, question mark? Everyone's gotta be in, but it's just, oh, it's always a joy coming to the touch points when there's hardly anybody here. Believe it or not, it's Case's first time at Flower and Garden this year. And also, we have an Asha. Oh, go pack, go, by the way. We have an Asha, a Wish update. If you guys haven't been seeing the past couple vlogs. April 3rd, the Wish comes on Disney Plus, and Casey and I will finally see the movie. I mean, I, I saw like the first preview ever to the world at Destination D23. If you guys are here, comment down below, you were there. It was a cool preview and I've yet to see it. Also, thank you guys so much for all the birthday love, the birthday wishes. This year has been just an outpouring amount of messages and all of that, so I really appreciate you all reaching out and wishing me a happy birthday. Because I did have a happy, happy birthday and it's because of a lot of you guys, so thank you. And since it is Casey's first time here at Flower and Garden, we're here to have dinner throughout the park at the food booths, as well as kind of check out the final stages of Epcot. It's raining just a little bit, but it's a mist, so it's not really bothering us. But um, if you guys didn't know, June 10th, Epcot is finally gonna be a whole park. All the construction walls will be completely down, excluding probably these ones at the front. I don't know when they're gonna withdo with that. But yeah, that was a big announcement if you guys also missed my Animal Kingdom vlog. But since we're here at Epcot, figured I'd let you guys know. Spaceship Earth, a whopping five minute wait. It's breezy. I think we're here during like a perfect gap between, you know, Easter crowds and spring breakers. Like it really hasn't been that bad. It's gonna be real interesting to see when the Easter crowds start coming. I mean, I really feel like the spring break crowds never really came. Like it, it hasn't been bad. Easter is next week though, and I feel like a lot of schools usually wait to kind of like time it around Easter break. Um, so I feel like we're gonna see a lot of crowds next week. We might. I think that's when a lot of people start getting blocked out from their annual passes. Um, I know I have a lot of, yeah, I know I have, I have a lot of blockout dates coming up, so I think that's really, really the time that spring break crowds are gonna be more visible. We're gonna have to wait and see, but we're coming up on uh, an exciting adventure here. Here it is. The communion core. Now, actually, when you pointed this out, there are supposed to be, supposed to be holes like that, so that's kind of pretty much complete. We're only like two months away until these walls come on down. And we start seeing cast member previews. Now, inside here, there's going to be a demo kitchen, a gallery space, mixology bar, Mickey and Friends permanent meet and greet is going to be inside this area, as well as surprisingly, we're going to have the new Encanto show, which is temporary, and I think that's actually going to be over in that area because from the picture from the concept art that they released it looked like it was going to be outside and that might be like a reoccurring show meaning it might happen later on or they might change it for something new but two months and epcot is going to be complete and if we're going to be really picky about this area i mean like this section is kind of useless in a way it's just like a nice gathering area but i don't know Hopefully they has something more to use inside the community core hall. But Casey, is there anything you want to do right now? I want to go to the store, just see what new flower and garden merch they have. And then I've been looking through the pamphlet, the little booklet. There are so many yummy sounding options. So I'm glad that I came hungry and prepared. There's some really good food. I love, um, the uh, Festival of the Arts, but I would say the food for Flower and Garden is some of the best. This looks incredible. The chill night at Epcot. It may be breezy and there may be some rain on the way, but it's got this beautiful cold breeze tonight, which I'm trying to enjoy more because we're not gonna feel that for the next five months. It's, so this is great, this is great. It's shocking to me that it's end of March and it's still beautiful weather out. Usually this time of year, it's hot. And it has been pretty hot during the day, but I am I wish that our nights were like this all the time. Let's go see what Casey finds. I always like kind of just watching her do her shopping and, and see, because we're here all the time. But I do know there's some new merch that I want to keep my eye out for and 
side of the here. And that new merch may or not be a new Starbucks tumbler. Oh gosh. I think I see it. Pardon me. Thank you. Here it is right here. 44 bucks, I think, so it's kind of a bargain. Four, oh, 49. I will say if I was still in school at UCF, then this would be an immediate, like, immediate buy, but I think we're safe this go around. <laughs> I actually really do like this one a lot, but I don't need it. It's like a dress. I think I've seen this before. Well, no, this, is like, <gasps> this is nice, but it's oh. thick. Look, they have this back in stock. Very rare. Oh, it's the same material. Yeah, it's the same one I have. Yeah, I, I thought this one was thicker than normal. This oh, one's nice, but... Oh, wait a second. It's I thought material. it was like a dress, but we're looking at XXXSL. Wait, I might get this. I love these things. Yeah, I got to. It's nice. I, I need like to. This. I need to. See it? I love these kind of jerseys, but like, I very rarely wear gray because, you know, Florida, it's really hot. So it's very rarely I kind of whip gray out, but now I kind of got a new one. And I love these. It's like $74, but I love the jerseys. It's like my form of spirit jersey, you know? Oh my goodness. If we only had a puppy, this would only last like a couple days or a couple weeks for the golden retriever that we almost got. You know, sad, sad. Now I'm doing something a little bit different. Currently I'm filming a little a little time lapse on my body. I have no idea what it's gonna turn out, but I figured it'd be something kind of cool and different to kind of film just to see if it's something feasible to do in the future. Because there's a lot of times where we aren't filming, but we're constantly like we're constantly rolling in a way. I love this. It kind of matches my jersey that I have. I don't know if Casey wants that for a kitchen. Probably not. It doesn't really match, but I love that. But it's Disney. It doesn't need a match. I think I found something you're gonna like to put outside our house. This. Oh, that is cute. Like it's it's pink. It's your color. Well, do they have like the orange bird one? They don't. No. I believe they only have this one this year because it changes. Do you not like it? I think it's cute. The only thing that I don't necessarily love is that it says 2024. Oh. Like it's specific for the festival. Well, then we can just cross it out after it's 2024. <laughs> that is cute though. I do want to get a stone of some sort for the front yard. So is that is that not it? I, in my mind, I was thinking that orange bird one. I want this. That's funny because I was like, I remember filming this opening day. I'm like, not for me, but probably for a lot of people. It looked cute. Put it on. Put it on. It has a similar shape to the, like this other one I have. It's, it has a Mickey. Mm -hmm. I have to go it's adjust it. Wait, that's cute. Is it? You look cute in everything you do. That's orange. not true though. Yeah, but orange, like I know, it's a little bit of a, a daring color. Definitely not a need, but it's cute. So, like, what do I do? Bag secured. I got the hat. Kyle got his button down. Little jersey thing. As much as I can't wait to eat things around the world, <laughs> around the world showcase, I really wish we were dining at Space 220. I love that food so much. I miss it. Look, hands free. <laughs> it's like a hurricane's coming through. Oh, it feels great though. There is nobody in line for brunch cot. I mean, it's kind of like breakfast food anyways. So I don't really want it, or just brunch, you know, in general. It's gonna be interesting Interesting to see how this changes this week. And you know what, since it is Easter week, I did see that the Easter Bunny is meeting right now at the Magic Kingdom, should be meeting all week long. And then a little bit after Easter, he'll be there. He does have a busy kind of day coming on up, hiding those Easter eggs in those baskets. And you know what, speaking of Easter, should Casey and I do like an Easter special of us, I don't know, making eggs or something? Throw it in one of the vlogs? I feel like I've never actually like painted eggs before. They're right. I just like, like, I, we used to do like Easter egg hunts, but I don't really remember. I used to dye them. I don't even remember doing that. We used to like my family would actually come to Disney some Easter's, so the Easter Bunny would follow me to the Fort Bunny Wilderness Big Ears, right? The Big Ears. Yeah, what was but it again? I, yeah, the Bunny Big Ears. Bunny Big Ears. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We always used to go to Ponderosa. <laughs> Every Easter, Ponderosa. I, I told my sister about that today. <laughs> Ponderosa. I think I'm gonna get a quick beer here in Citrus Blossom. This is so weird seeing 
empty Epcot. This is the Tangerine Express, the Hazy IPA. If you guys know, I love my IPAs. This is a good one. It's got that bite of an IPA. But it's a chug, but I'm gonna sip this. In case he doesn't like IPAs. But welcome to uh, the, uh, the calm before the storm of what it appears. Check this out, it's beautiful. It didn't really end up raining. Welcome to Florida. It always says it does, and then it just veers off in another direction. I'll take it, because the rainy season's coming right around the corner. Oh, Casey, this topiary is so nice. We gotta come by it at night. It's, it's the projecting one. Which one? Right here, yeah. Dante is projected on at night. First time I showed you guys that was, was the After Hours event. It was fun. You know, I know I just got back from my previous cruise, but I do have another one scheduled and it's for early April. Do we have any guesses on where we're going next? Comment down below. It's, it's a nice cruise. It's a big one. Wait, should I get this? But well, we are heading to Germany, but I don't know if Casey's gonna get some dumplings here. Again, there's really no line. They sound great, but maybe, maybe not. I feel like we can get dumplings like anywhere. We're in China. Well, I mean like- Not every day you're in China. True. I'm just noticing that Casey matches the people working the festival or the cast members. Look at them. I decided to Disney bound as the cast members today. Oh my goodness, y'all. Check this out. A boat by Germany. Now, the reason why they're actually here at Germany is because at Morocco, they're, imagine this, they're doing a refurbishment and they haven't really used this since like 2016. So we're witnessing history right now here at Disney. And it's only open because of the Morocco, we gotta go check out the Morocco situation. I still have no idea what it looks like. But this is really weird to see. It's kind of cool because you don't see this every day at Disney anymore. I think they used it off and on before COVID, but it's been history pretty much since. Neat. I should keep it open. So I guess if you're getting on the boat, no, you don't get dropped off in Morocco. It's Germany and for the time being. It's been a while since I've showed this, but the birds are all back here. I feel like they like try to relocate them. But at night, the, this is their home. What a nice home to have in Epcot. When you're coming right by Germany, check, check it out if you want. Those are the birds I'll never forget that stole one of my dad's corn dogs at the Magic Kingdom. Well, Casey's gonna head on over to uh, the Germany market. We'll see what she gets. I think I know what she's gonna get. Casey, pretty sure we're getting the potato pancakes here and the warm cheese strudel. I told her to get the warm cheese strudel. It's one of my favorites and I have yet to get it this festival. Again, no lines. Pretty great for us. Mark your calendars, folks. Ooh, I was gonna go right on over there. Looks like there's an event in progress. Looks like some dessert party or something. That's a cool space. Like, I could host a party there for all of us if I wanted to, or if, I don't know, would you guys want something like that? That'd be cool. Imagine we all party here together at Epcot. It's probably a lot of money, but that'd be fun. You know, this could be a festival favorite of mine. It looks so good. The warm cheese strudel. And then Casey's basically hash browns. Like I say, it's pancakes, but isn't it kind of like hash browns in a way? Kind of. I mean, it's essentially it. But I love that this has applesauce on it as well. It's a classic. I feel like in years past, they usually have a regular potato pancake and then one with like ham. They only have this one this year. All right, let's, let's try it. Well, what's new? Having dessert for dinner. KP for the win. I'm a fruit lover. This doesn't even need the fruit, which is how good this is. Oh. It does not need the fruit. The oh. fruit is a bonus. You'll see what I'm talking about. This is just to die for. Can't wait. Do you want any of this? Mm. I'm gonna save a good bite for you. You wanna look? Good? Yeah, what do you think? This is a festival classic in my opinion. I feel like the flavor has not changed year after year. You can always rely on this being a good option. It is pretty salty though. 
So it is nice to have something sweet to balance it out. This is pretty much the closest you're gonna get to a Disney Wish hash brown. It's not as crunchy, but it kind of tastes just like it. Yeah, I love it. Contrary to what Kyle said, I do think that this needs the fruit on its own. I think it's really good, but I think the fruit enhances it a lot. Not saying I'm gonna put any of it in the video, I have no idea, but I've been filming some like cool shots with my Insta360 just continuously like shooting. We'll see if any of it makes the vlog. I've got no idea. First, first, I can't talk. First dish done. On to the next, on this beautiful night. If you guys believe it or not, there's actually been a couple of things here that we haven't even eat, eaten, oh my gosh, there we go, eaten at Epcot, and we almost booked one tonight. You're gonna have to wait to the next vlog though. We haven't had nine dragons. There's like three restaurants that I've never indulged in. You just used it right. I'm so proud of you. I was gonna say divulge. Um, anyways, we're gonna eat here at Italy in case he wants to eat. Well, here it is up close and personal with uh, transportation to the World Celebration dock, which is all the way up there. First time in years she has been up and operational. Every 15 minutes. We got a milestone at Epcot. She's all coming together, except Morocco. Morocco's nickname should be construction because there's construction going on with Morocco, as we're about to see. It's just, oh, I can't get over how gorgeous it is tonight. And look at her. She's gorgeous too. Nothing. Well, I think Casey might want something from here. What are you thinking? I think I want, I think I want this. Or this. No, 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 I want this. Okay, let's get it. Quattro fromaggi. 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 How about this one? Look at it, it comes in a flower pot. That is cool. It's a, it's basically like tomato. Wait, we should get it, because then we can keep masala. that. That'd be cool. We could, we could grow something in our yard. Yeah. Can we do that? Sure. I mean, we've got kind of a line here tonight. Actually, there's this is way more than, than Germany, which is interesting. I feel like Germany has a stronger lineup. <laughs> Look at that. That is history. It's cool to see, right? Like, they should do this all the time. Well, we got some bocaccini. It's mozzarella bocaccini with grape tomatoes and pesto sauce for only $7.50. And then we got. That's, that oh, I mixed them up. Sorry, <laughs> that's not the bocaccino. That's this the. Is the this is the quattro fromaggi. Fromaggi. See, they're they're practically the same. Your accent is terrible. <laughs> good accent, darling. No. Do you like your noodles? Oh, it's good. Didn't look like much when I first looked at it, but the flavor. Bocaccini. You're gonna like this. It tastes like your favorite cheese. This is really good too. This is pesto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can make this easily. Oh yeah. It's really fresh. Just a couple of noodles, that's all I need. That's all you need. Uh-huh. I really wanted pasta last night, so this is satisfying my craving. Oh my gosh, that's great. Mm-hmm. I mean it's noodles just with flavoring. I am such a happy camper. Ah, oh, it's just perfect out. <sighs> Taking it all in until the summer. I feel like I've been saying that for a while since we've been at Disney, just because I'm not taking it for granted. Casey. She's gorgeous. Tiana. Magnolia Terrace. Ooh, spicy chicken gumbo. With a bananas foster bread pudding. I think we gotta get that. We're gonna get a couple things here. I've already had a few sips of this. I prefer this one way better. This one is an absolute chugger. It goes down so smooth. 
it is unbelievable. Get this IPA if you're an IPA lover over the one that we got earlier. The Bananas Foster looks a little bit different than I thought it was gonna look like. It kind of looks like, it, it looks like it's mushrooms, but it's like a bread pudding. And here is the chicken gumbo. I love my gumbo. I can't wait to go to New Orleans, New Orleans this year. We are going to New Orleans this year. Hint, hint, it's coming later in the month. Or sorry, later in the month. My gosh, I can't talk. Later in the year. Oh my gosh, the band that is um in Garden of the Galaxy is here. How cool, they're Mr. Brightside. Um, the gumbo has a spice. If you don't like spice, you can't handle it, but it is delicious. Oh, Honestly. Is so incredible. Yeah, but That's a big kick. Cool. Makes sense why they put Tiana there with her gumbo, her spicy gumbo. And the bananas foster was just bananas yeah. foster. I think this is the clear winner here. And the drink. Amen to ELO. Oh, this put a big smile on my face. So that actually reminds me of 2017. Casey, that was amazing. It reminds me of 2017 when I had to go back and graduate and then come back down. Yeah, because I used to, we, my dad and I listened to it for hours. I, we just listened to Gardens of Galaxy, and that's when I first discovered them. Anyways, yeah, I love that. For me, that was the winter booth. That was really good. That, um, the gumbo tasted like something that you would make at home, or like your mama would make you. It was just so warm and comforting. I loved it. We both love I spice. Love you don't like spice, you're not going to like it, but... Yeah, it definitely has a, a pretty big kick, and if we're saying that, then that means it's spicy. It's so good, though. But Get very, it. very good. What you are about to see is a spoiler alert. <laughs> we found one of the extravaganza Easter eggs. Pretty obvious, but it's really beautiful. Very beautiful. And I think Casey wants something something good over here too in Japan. It's the only, actually that's a lie, never mind. I was gonna say the only sushi I'll eat. But I will eat vegetable sushi as well. <laughs> and would you check out the line? Oh, babe. You have to try the steam bun. The steam bun is amazing. We're getting that too. We gotta come back for ramen. They even tell us how to eat the ramen. That's it right there. I got this opening day. It's amazing, make sure you guys get it. The only problem is, every time you get this, it kind of sticks and it kind of peels away, but it's, it's really good. Our next stop is obviously Morocco, but Morocco I'm nicknaming to construction because I feel like for the past three years, no matter what time it is, they always have some construction thing going on and it's like a big wall again. So I'm a little bit confused on what's going on with Morocco here. So here are the walls in Morocco. They're covering up. I mean, if you guys have been here for a while, you remember there, there were, it was these style walls here for a while for the water fountain. And it was here for like, I feel like six months. No idea how long this is going to be in Morocco. I mean, we even have screens back there. That's obviously for repainting of, you know, the building itself. But these are kind of confusing because they already did work here for the longest time. And it seemed like everything was A-OK. -okay. You can still go back. You can still go to the Tangerine Cafe. But, you know, it's been like this for for years. Kind of a better look at it. Oh, there's even scrims on the other side. We're gonna have to check it out. Oh, you know what I think it is? Actually, no, I don't know. These could be here for like, uh, they might need, there might be a machine back here that they're using to utilize with the structure maybe. That's my best guess. Well, this pathway is completely closed off. But is anybody here with me? Like, I feel like Morocco has just been like construction heaven that's even a term. Whoa, I think we found the quietest spot in Epcot. This is something else. It is very nice, but it's like an incomplete shutdown. I feel like not a lot of people actually come back here and see all the things. Huh. There's not much to see in Morocco, that's for sure though. I mean, if you think about it too, restaurant Mar Mar Marrakesh hasn't even like reopened. It's just, it's bizarre. Very bizarre. If it ever does reopen some place I really do want to eat. I've never eaten here. I heard it's good, but it's just like, you know, it didn't get that much demand. I know that there's a chicken with like capers and olives right up my alley. I've been dreaming about it, but it hasn't come back. 
Well, Morocco continues to be a ghost town. Also, it's funny too because you guys remember they removed this? If you know, you know. Casey, do you know? No. She has no idea. Well, if you know, you know. I'll tell her off camera. There's quite literally nobody in Morocco. Well, if you want a country out of yourself, come here. And if you thought that was it, nope. Here is the boat dock that is down, which I don't even know why it's down. It doesn't even look like they're doing any work, so I'm a little confused on, on this. But hey, goes to Germany now. It still comes this way. But how cool, right? A Disney duck. You know, it's been a couple months since Canada has been open. And I actually really want to go to Canada. All right, this is a hard take, a hot take. After seeing The Bachelor <laughs> and how beautiful Canada is, I really want to go to Canada. Like, Canada holy camole. Is beautiful. Some would say it's far and wide. <laughs> 10 minutes later. <laughs> That was a good one, Kyle. We've been laughing for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, what a night. Just a chilly one, but like, look at how stunning this is. Good to see this. Florida, Florida Fresh is up and operational. This is where you can get the lobster tail, the shark cake, but most importantly, the lobster tail. Pathway is still closed over here. I'm hoping this opens relatively soon. I think it's going to open before June 10th when all these walls go down. Oh, Pete Casey taking a picture. If only you guys knew what we're doing off camera right now. We're reciting poems walking through the Epcot. Honestly, we could be poets. In our case, you could be poet. Maybe we should give them a taste? Or would that be a waste? <laughs> Ooh, what a, what a great treat. We're heading to Living with the Land. Maybe we should start a band. <laughs> that has been going on since we've been walking through Canada. Okay, so you just started doing this accent and then just being a poet. Oh, would you look at that? It's a walk on. Nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. Uh, look, look, look. They're painting the roses red. You see that? Oh, that's cool. It's an Alice themed one. There's a tea party. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Well, with that, I think we're going to conclude this lovely evening at Epcot. Fireworks are gonna start here any second. We always kind of leave before fireworks. I'm gonna have to stay. Well, we're gonna have to do that one of these nights. I still haven't seen the full show. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a local thing, guys. With that, everybody, we hope you enjoyed this evening with us. Is that the right? We hope you enjoyed, yeah. Words are tough <laughs> today, I don't know what's going on. It was a good night overall. Beautiful and um, no, short and sweet, we'll see ya. See you in the next one tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>